And we're back two weeks later. As you just saw, about a week and a half ago, I got this in the mail and <laughs> I think my facial expression excited all. I was a bit let down. It was supposed to be black, but it was silver. And this bad boy right here. On top of that, the capsule was uh, damaged. I'm guessing it happened in shipment. And so I ended up getting a product that was the wrong color and not working. So PayPal, very kindly, thank God, I got a full refund back. And so this U87, I essentially got for free, which is crazy, believe it or not. So I ordered a replacement capsule for it that's supposed to be coming in and I'm going to modify this U87, but everything worked out in the end. Uh, thank God. I had God on my side. With the money I got back, I found another deal on Reverb. Boom! Oh yeah! Norman U87. The set in black. This one came with everything. I got the shock mount, I got the pop filter, and the guy was even cool enough to include the cable you get when you buy it. Six years finally down the road, we get to see it. I've never seen the black one in person. Only the silver one at Vintage King when I fell in love with this mic. And let's take a look. Here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's so perfect. Oh man. Six years I waited for this mic. I can't believe I finally have it in my hands. $3,600 mic. All I feel is grateful right now. Blessed, man, for real. Woo! I'm very nervous to even hold it. But it's oh so gorgeous. Now all I gotta do is set her up. And voila, there she is. Oh, I love it, I love it. It's got a little wear here and there, but for the price I got it for, it, there's no complaining about it. It looks great and I can't wait to hear how it sounds. So there she is mic'd up now on the stand with the reflection filter behind her. Man, looks badass, looks like a dream come true. So I'm gonna be running this. Um, right now it's currently set up to go through the Duet. These are the other three condenser microphones. Um, yeah. So this is gonna be the main, the main toy right now. I'm gonna do a lot, and I mean a lot of experimenting with vocal chains to see what I can do that will bring the best results out of it. Um, I'm gonna be, like I mentioned, I don't have the WA-73 anymore down there. Please excuse the chaotic wires. There's, there was a lot of experimenting going on with that WA-73, like I said but i don't have it anymore so the two choices i'm going to have right here for preamps on this chain with this mic is either going to be my duet with its stock pre's or the vms one with that plain pre that it has um i'm going to do some experimenting i did a little just now and i think i prefer this one more this one has a very similar characteristic and sound to that up there so i i'm not surprised that i prefer that more that is very clean and very crisp, um, but it lacks what I feel like is color, beautiful color and saturation that the preamps in here give. So I'm gonna just do more experimenting and uh, try to figure out what it is that's going to make this mic really um, just sound, you know, uh, just ex extraordinary. Um, because I know that this mic alone by itself does kind of sound, um, it sounds forward in a nice way, but it also you needs cleaning up to really bring out the fullness of it, the full potential of it. That I was aware of when I bought it. I didn't hook this up thinking I was going to end up getting like some million dollar sound right out the box. I knew I was gonna get a great strong sound, but I knew that to really take advantage of it, I was going to have to exploit its power through processing. So that's what I'm gonna do now for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna drive myself mad and crazy. And then I'm gonna just compare it to those three and that bad boy up there. Cause that thing is bad. Y'all, y'all don't even know. Um, if you ain't got one of those, you need to get one of those, seriously. I would pick recording with that mic over those two 
any day. And that's a that was a six hundred dollar mic. That's a thousand dollar mic. And I even have the expansion and uh, mic emulations. Yeah, you need to get that. Don't sleep on it. But yeah, that is the update. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to share new music with you guys. And I can't wait to share with you guys some new production tricks and tips and some cool new music stuff. So stay tuned. As always, good vibes and peace. Later, fam.